I want to be clear about this, Mr. Gallant, and the, the, you, you begin this section. Would you have been prepared to have Blaine Higgs in your cabinet or as a deputy <laughs> minister in your government in 2014, as was at least proposed to him by your emissary, if not by you yourself, by someone who was empowered to speak for you? Absolutely not, and I want to make it very clear. Uh, Blaine Higgs lied. On the night of the election, there is a clip, and I suggest people go check out Blaine Higgs, not for you. He said that I offered him a job. Then on your show C on CTV, he admitted that that was not the case. I think it's very unfortunate that he would try to distract from the important issues we need to discuss in this campaign, how we're going to strengthen the important services and strengthen our So economy. I just want to be clear. The person who offered Mr. Higgs the job or talked about it was not empowered or authorized by you. It would never have happened. Just so you know, nobody offered him a job. And in fact, Blaine Higgs right. actually came, well, just a sec, Blaine Higgs actually came to a meeting with a job description that he was hoping he would be able to get within our government as COO or something that he wanted to create and try to be a part of our government. Is that true? You know, Steve, it's, this, is, this is interesting. So it, it, the it's premier, either true or the, it's not. It, it may be interesting, but is it true? I went. To, I met with the with the uh, premier's. I met with the premier's um, transition member, and he offered me a job as deputy minister or minister of finance. The premier's not saying that he didn't offer me the job. So I'd like to hear the premier say he didn't. That his it, it, really, <laughs> really. And, I, and I'd be curious about the well, job description I, that you brought to the meeting. I, and you have yet to, we're prove, not talking you about have yet to provide any proof. You told Brian the media Gallant, you, would have, you would have text messages and emails. We're so, waiting for it. And so we have proof that you had you a job swear, description, let's, let's a CEO, this right here. that you this. wanted to be Will in our government. Will you swear working. on an affidavit that you had no knowledge of a job being offered to me by Len Hoyt? Will you swear in an affidavit, Brian Gallant? Yes, because I Because I bet you won't. Yes, I would, but I don't need to swear in an affidavit no, to you, tell the truth see, to you, Steve, see? and the public. I knew he would. I knew he would. Mr. Mr. Kuhn, you're literally in the middle here. Uh, <laughs> They're both tarry, same old story. We have two yeah, versions yeah. of the story. I guess I will let the general public uh, make this decision.